Hi everybody and welcome to Art Exploration with Mark Mueller. Today we're going to have a fun little thing we're doing. Um, we're doing the TARDIS as a pencil box. Now I've already went ahead and I gessoed and then I used um, cobalt hue, just apple barrel, it was like a dollar something. And that's only we're going to be using that black and white today. Walmart specials. They come in just as handy as everything else. Okay. Now. We're not all artists. We're not all drawers and da 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 da. I don't always like to draw certain things or stuff like that. Oh. I'm sorry. This right here is just a it was a cigar box. If you can get your hands on some, great. I'll look to see if I can find any and leave a link. But this is the old one that my mom had started doing stuff with. It's got that um, shelf lining paper on it. So that helps a little bit. And one of the things she did was she reinforced right here on inside and outside before she did it with uh, duct tape. So it makes it sturdier. She, then she even lined the inside. I'm going to do something on the inside later on. I haven't decided if I'm painting in here or if I'm just going to line it with like, um, with stuff. Or just leave it, I might just leave it like that. Because this is just going to be a pencil, pencil, brush holder, whatever I want. Whatever you want to use them for. You can do, you can get real fancy with them, whatever. Now I, um, went on the internet and I bring up, um, search TARDIS, because the TARDIS is so famous, for different things and stuff. So I got, uh, just, I tra laid down my tracing paper onto, onto the, uh, my screen, because I have one of those nice little, it's a PC. No, it's a tablet. It's a PC. No, it's tablet things. <laughs> oh, I also took um, the pink on the back here. If you can see that. Sidewalk chalk. That helps just to give me something that's going to transfer over. Now, I am using Pro Mask, but um, it can tend to be a little sticky. One of my tricks I did so that it's, I try not to um, have it rip off my uh, paint, but it's still stick, just take it and put it against your shirt so that it will kind of like grab some of your lint and stuff that's on your shirt and it doesn't make it as sticky. And if it does pull off, it's paint. It'll go, you can paint back over it. I'm not, you know, this is just, a, this is a fun project, believe me. Um, I'll, I might seal this. I'm not sure yet. But, if I choose not to seal it, you know, if I'm doing this and paint gets pulled off, it's just a pencil box. It's going to get a lot of wear and tear. So that's your choice if you want to seal seal it so your paint doesn't come off as easy. Or if you like that kind of, you know, with you know, you know how things go. Things get scratched and dented and all that fun stuff. Now I'm looking for, I had a ruler and bad things happened to it. It died. So I don't have a ruler no more, but I'm just looking for something that I have with a little bit of a straight edge um, that I can help ooh, to uh, trace this with. Uh, I don't want anything too big and bulky and in our way. That's not long enough. Oh, the woes, the o's, the chose, the mo's, the, the artist's life, I tell you. What's that? This will work. 
It's not long enough, but at least I can kind of maybe use it here and there when I need to. Then all you need is a good, a good pen or pencil. Take your time. And you'll just... This is a lot of line work. But in the end, it's worth it. Ah, oh, look at that. Don't you love when that happens? Uh, it's going to be one of them there days today, I can tell you already. And then we go whoop. I mean, this doesn't have to be perfect. If you're not perfect, that's fine. No one's gonna, no one's gonna sue you. Well, unless you have one of those friends who are like, that's not perfect. And then you tell them, well, you know what? In my eyes, it's beautiful. Because everything's perfect. We're not all, we're not all gonna get, you know, things exact and some of us like that hand I call it handmade look and some of us don't it's up to you I don't even I just think I'm gonna do this because I kinda want this handmade look on this And you can have, when you're painting this, if you've found a photo you're working from, or traceable, or anything like that, you can have the screen up next to you while you're doing it, so you can look at it, you know, in case you're not sure on what you're doing, why you're doing it, where you're doing it, how. And this is just supposed to be a fun project. You're like, I'll take this um, traceable and I'll put it on the back and then I'll just do a, a rendering a little bit on the sides. I'm not going to show you all that. I'm just doing the primary TARDIS, front part, just to get the gist. Gonna say police a box or whatever. Now, if we do this right, <clears throat> yep, see, look, see how easily that's pulling off. It's not bringing up anything. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? See, chalk. And the great thing about using chalk for stuff is it will brush away later on and it fills in decently. Now, the rest of this is just primarily highlighting, low lighting, and fun fighting. Hold on, I'll be right back. Do -do. 
stupid baby don't work in. Hey baby don't work in. I'm in a good mood today, you can't tell. Doctor who from here my sight. And I'm still on my body too. Watch it here soon after I'm done painting. It would be watching the Doctor Who. Okay. <laughs> this is the picture that I had found and working with. You can see it's got some highlights and lowlights. And so the first thing I'm going to do is outline most of my lines in black. Now. Crafters paint, I say, is best. You know, this stuff is the best for this. It's just, don't use your good, like, Liquitex um, to paint. If it, let's put it away. If it's really expensive paint, leave that for good stuff. This is just a fun project. Kids project. Excellent kids project. If I do things wrong, I, I'm sorry. This is only my second video. I'm still learning myself. I'm exploring with art exploration with Mark. Art exploration with Mark. That could be my new song. <laughs> I don't know, everybody just turned the channel now. Like, oh my god, it sings. Now I'm using my um, pinky along the side and trying to hold the brush at almost the same area and just sliding it all up. quite this. And as to whether you get a thick or a thin line, it's all about pressure. Because pressure is what helps um, define if it's a thick line or a thin line. And all the fun stuff. You see, I'm, I'm not really caring if every line is 100% straight right now. Because that's the, I mean, you can, you can take a ruler 
and you can go all to town on um, perfectly straight lines and all that stuff. I'm not. I'm here to have fun today. And now, don't 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 get me wrong. If you like to use a roller and you want to use a roller, that doesn't make it not fun. That's that's your kind of fun. I actually shouldn't be painting that like that. Huh. I'll let that dry. I'm not going to go over that window over here again. I'll go around it, but I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to go around it even. I'm going to let this dry. Because I made a boo boo. Because I don't want it. Um, it's supposed to go blue. And the window is supposed to be white. And people make boo boos. But you don't get upset about it, see? Because it's paint. And be patient. If you made a boo boo, let the paint dry first before you try to go in and um, fix it. Because more than likely, you're not going to fix it, you're just going to make it worse. You're going to push that wet paint around, and then you're going to cry a little bit and be like, what did I do? I know, I talk from experience. I'm probably one of the most impatient people there is. I want stuff done yesterday. But I'm learning that I have to take my time sometimes. Because if I don't, then I end up with things like that. No. <laughs> Little. These things. This, this helps you get it dry quicker. And you can usually tell if your paint's dry, if it's got a shiny or not. If it's got some shine to it, it's probably not fully dry yet. Alright, well. Getting it about my wad out. Woo! Squishy squash. Now, I'm going to take this chia. It's like a chi chi chia. This chia brush, it's got a little bit of angle. My brushes are so. Uh, I try to clean them all the time, and things don't always happen. It, it's just life. Now, because this is. That's what I'm going to do, actually. Just so you don't need a lot of, I found. Just a little smidgen. Now, I use, um... We were talking in... I was watching Cinnamon, we were talking about different... Things that people use for palettes and stuff, and sometimes I use um, paper plates. Sometimes I use, like if I have a high gloss surface, like an extra mirror or glass or something, oh my gosh. You just put that on there and it works wonders. Now I'm going to use gesso, a layer of gesso on here before I put my layer of white paint. The reason I'm going to do that is 
because this is cheap, cheaper white paint, it's not as pigmented, and sometimes you, when you're working with these kinds of paint, especially, and if you're going to do, I mean, you can do canvas paintings with them. But remember, first of all, with acrylic, it's layers, layers, layers. You have to build your layers. Even with the good stuff, you have to build layers. So then, it's layer, 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 and then you have to remember that, um, it is more transparent, so what might, with a good paint, might take two layers for coverage. It might take um, four or five. Just because. I'm going to go right over most of what I did over here because it's not going to matter. And this is just giving it a little bit of tooth, and it helps to cut down how many times I'm going to come have to come over the, over this to get rid of the transparency of seeing that that blue is quite bright. Okay, now, Mister. <laughs> Excuse me. How do I? I usually have about ten, <laughs> ten rags around me because I'm always losing. Now, I never really used gesso back when I was younger. I don't even remember really it coming up in art school that we had to use gesso. It might be something new. I don't know. I don't think it is. And I went to art school, but there was a lot of stuff I was not taught. But when I went to art school, my one teacher first words out of her mouth was, I just want all you guys to know that I am the best artist in this entire building and this room. Just so you all know. And I was like, uh. And it was like, well, this, that's how you should all think. That's how you should, you should all think that you are the best artist. Well, that doesn't mean you gotta act like you all that and then some. And then she proceeded to tell us that um, she was the original thinker upper of the Apollo, and Ralph Lauren stole it from her. And that's when I knew, okay, fantasy delusional. Is your name Alice? Cause you need to get out of Wonderland. And there's nothing, I mean, as far as that, you know, you thinking that you're the best artist in the world, I don't see where there's anything wrong with that as long as you're grounded. Because even if you're the best artist in the whole world, you need to have people who follow you and people who, who like you. If you're not likable, they're not going to follow you. They're going to be like that guy, a great artist. Total douchebag. And you don't want to be a total douchebag. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. I would hope you don't want to be a total douchebag in life. But if that is your prerogative, 
in your thing, well then, you know, that's what you want to do. A little more dry, 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 dry. What do you think? You think? You think? You think? I think. Potatoes and cheese. I'm just going to do this real quick to get rid of some of that chalk that's driving me nuts. Just so I can see. Ooh, wet spot. Didn't get it all. Let that dry some more. Now comes the fun parts, fun parts, fun parts. I'm going to take a little bit of my black and my blue and kind of work them together. Hey, baby.
Now, we're going to work in Because my blue is so thin, I'm actually adding in some of the gesso. Now we're just going to come down here, right along the inside of that black line. How's that looking? Hmm. Okay. I do feel like, let me see. I'm liking it. Try one of these. That looks better. <laughs> hmm. I 
still like the in, the in there though. I think I have a smaller one of those. I wonder if that would work. I have my little thing of brushes. There, here. Love it when you teach this to us. Babas. It's a babas. love it when sometimes you do things and you're like, oh, I should have used this the whole time. Hence the exploration. Sometimes you gotta explore to see what works best. Were you seeing that? So I try to keep, I put myself a piece of tape down here so that I wouldn't go over and you guys could see everything I was doing. Yeah, and I also am thinking that next time I need to move my um, lamp to the other side, seeing how I am a lefty. It would be better because I cast a shadow while I'm doing things. Not bad. Looking better than it was. Now let's go click on here. Get some of this yumminess. Hate that. When you think you got all the paint out. And it's still in there. It's evil. That looks so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> That's what our exploration's about.
Look at that. Look at that! Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Well, I did. And we all know there's that nice little piece of paper here. No, that'll have I have to go over that a second time because I didn't put the gesso down. And our white's not that white. We're getting there! Yay! Now we're coming into the little bit finer things. Well, that's drying. Circles are not fun. Now, every time I see these, there's a different, some have a little handle right here, some don't. I don't really want a little handle right there. This is also where, you know, your um, OCD can kick in when we get ready. Because I'm not, I mean, I, first of all, I've seen all kinds of different things supposedly written on the TARDIS. This little piece of paper. Um, I'm not trying to get all that wackety whack now. No offense. To, if you want to do that, you go right ahead and you do that. I don't have that in me. We're getting there though. We're almost done. Little key thing here. Boop, boop. Circle with a triangle. Circle with a triangle at the bottom of it. That's what you do. chalk that got stuck in there and now it's gone now well that's drying I know I'm gonna, uh, this is not my favorite part lettering I suck at but this is fun this is just for the fun of it so
Do you ever wonder why the word police has the word lice in it? Ooh. Looking pretty tired to see. Now, just for down here. I'm just gonna do these little like little strictly wiggly winds to insinuate there's stuff that's there. And that's it, people. Our TARDIS is done. Well, kind of. I'm thinking this needs. Our line over there. Okay, that's it, people. We are done for today. What do you think? Got me tardis. Got me tardis. Now, all I have to do is um, repeat on the sides. And then I'll paint a little square on top here. That's going to be the little light that sits up there. It'll just be a little outline of a square, like a little cat thing. And we're done. So all you have to do is pretty much this pattern right here. Think of it in your head, just shrink it down, divide that. And just, your sides and stuff can just be um, an interpretation, just because you're not, this is the main part you're going to be looking at. So, thank you very much for joining me on my second video. I hope you had fun. Please leave any, any suggestions that you might have for my future things as to what I could and couldn't do, what I should, what I shouldn't do. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
share, you know, all the you, stuff you do down below there, down below there, down there, down there, someplace is stuff that you hit and click and like and share and thumbs up. And um, until the next time, guys, take care and zombie hugs.